I got my hands on a new radio. Stick around. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, Tim here, Gray Man Poda, amateur radio call sign, November Whiskey 9 Foxtrot. Guys, I am excited today. I have received the ICOM IC7300 Mark II. Now, I do want to preface that I did purchase this radio and that all opinions that you hear today will be of my own and I am not being directed to say anything specific. With that out of the way, let's get over to the bench and check this thing out. Let's get into this box. So, IC7300 Mark II. Um, hopefully I got enough room. This is actually a pretty tall box uh, that came in. I got enough room to open that up without clipping the camera there. And we'll open up the box and pick this up as fast as we can. So well packaged, got our multiple manuals here. We'll set those to the side. And work our way down. All right, first layer here, uh, accessories. We've got some plugs, the multi-pin den, and uh, tip sleeve ring, quarter inch, and 3.5 millimeter uh, setting there. We've got our standard ICOM hand microphone. And we have power cable with inline fuses. Okay, here we go. Do that. I'm going to do that slow reveal here. So I've been a big fan of the IC7300. I've had mine for about six years now. Used it here in the shack. I've since moved on to another radio, but I still continue to use the 7300. It's actually kind of like my main poda rig now. So I keep it in a uh, case that I keep in the back of the truck with me. And anytime I do tailgate poda, I'm using the IC7300. So I'm excited about getting this uh, in here into the shack. I think that... Um, you know, uh, there's a lot of radios out there. There's different classes of radio, but uh, I think sometimes people get caught up in having to buy the most expensive thing to uh, have an experience. And, that, and that's not necessarily the case. Something like the IC7300 Mark II I see as a, as a good, solid radio for somebody like myself. There's some new features in this radio that make it stand out above just the 7300. <clears throat> so 100 watt HF and 50 mag uh, radio. So uh, everything from 160 uh, all the way up through 10 meters. And then you're going to have six meter uh, also. It does CW. It does sideband, upper and lower sideband. It does the digital modes. It does not do FM, but does AM. So exact same general footprint as the, uh, the 7300. Uh, same 4.3 inch uh, touch screen on their knobs. Everything on the faceplate looks uh, identical. So if you've already got a 7300, you've got that muscle memory built up, you're not going to have to do something new. And that is sometimes a, um, a learning curve when you get new radios, right? Most of the functionality is going to be 
inside. Now, there's a few things that uh, they do differently uh, compared to the 7300. There's been some improvements in there, and we'll talk about those here in just a second. All right, so like the traditional 7300, we've got our power connector, ground lug, and antenna port. But on this side of the radio, we've got some different things. Now, we've got their key, external speaker, remote, and ACC plug like we had before. We have the ALC and the SIN for our amplifiers. We have our tuner port, which will power your external tuner. Now, some things that are a little bit different over previous versions of the 7300. We are going to have receive ports here, SMA receive ports, that will allow us to use external filtering and external receive antenna uh, and other things like that, preamps uh, that we don't have right now with the 7300. Also, and this is the one that got me really excited, was we have a LAN port on here. So now I can remotely run this radio from wherever I'm at. ICOM has their RSB1 software. I do have it. It's for Windows. I have since switched over to Mac, but there are other options out there, and we'll have to explore those in a later video. Some other great things, HDMI out. No more do we have to do DVI. I think that's a great um, feature, especially in a, a radio that, that's, uh, I'm not going to say entry level, but it is, uh, it is definitely a good good value. Right now, even the flagship radio, the 7760, does not have this. We also have USB-C, which I think is a, another great feature. I mean, I mean, let's face it, the old USB version B and A and, and mini and all that stuff, that's those are gone, right? Uh, so great things here. It's going to allow you to, to be able to do all the digital modes that we've done before, uh, but also give you the ability to remotely operate this radio when you're not here. So like myself, I travel a lot. And uh, if I can't go out and do operations locally, well, guess what? I can jump on my iPhone. I can jump on my, my tablet or my computer and I can operate my station from wherever I'm at, as long as I've got a decent internet connection. And this radio is going to allow me to do that. Okay, we are over here at the desk now, and I'm going to go ahead and pipe in the video uh, for the IC7300 Mark II, just so you can uh, see what we have now. All right, so as you can see here, it is the same display that we had on the 7300. We do have a couple additional options, which are kind of cool. So if we go to uh, menu and then set, uh, we have a couple new features here. Network is one. Like I said, it has the integrated uh, Ethernet jack in the back, which will allow you to connect this to the Internet. You can remotely connect to the radio and operate it remotely. The other one is display which is what is allowing me to bring this up on the computer now. So if we go to external display, we can turn it on. But one of the questions that had come up on the kids table about a month ago with Ray was, what is the resolution going to be? Well, here's the answer right here. So we have three different resolution options, uh, 640 by 480, which is really just kind of standard video. The second one is 1024 by 768, which is the 720p. And then 1280 by 720, which is uh, 1080p. So that is most monitors now. People are starting to get into 4K monitors, but 1080p is going to look good. Uh, and we'll give you the most uh, resolution. And to be honest, if you're trying to pipe this across the internet, you're not going to want super high resolution. So those options are there for you now. Uh, also, audio uh, output. If you are uh, piping this into a TV, uh, you can play the audio of the radio out uh, through the speakers of your TV. HDMI does carry both video and audio, so that is available too. So one of the last features I wanted to talk about on this radio was the integrated CW uh, decoder. So if you go to menu and select decode and go to CW decode, you can actually decode CW messages now, and it's, it is integrated into the radio now, so you don't need external software to, to decode this. It's all built in, and it's kind of neat. So as you see, it is a, it's a pretty good feature, and 
I'm actually looking very forward to it as I'm going through the process of learning CW now. I'd like to thank the channel members who helped sponsor this video. If you're interested in sponsoring the channel, there is a join button down below. If you have any questions, comments, please put those down below. If there's anything that you would be interested in seeing, also please let me know. If you liked this video, please hit the like button, share this content with your friends, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. And until we have an opportunity to meet on the air, I have a video right over here that you may be interested in.